Okay, back on the realistic STA-64 stereo receiver from 1977. If you recall, this is the one that suddenly blew a filter capacitor while I was listening to it. And I decided to replace a whole bunch of capacitors in here just as, as, just as a preventative maintenance measure. Here are the two 4700 microfarad caps that I replaced. And as you can tell, they're a good bit smaller than the originals. And I'll replace some more critical capacitors that might cause problems. Some of them I had on hand, others I had to order. So that's the way that goes. And here lately I've been going through a lot of old circuit boards, mostly old TV chassis, and pulling off parts that I can use. And among those parts are a lot of capacitors that I've been saving. This row of capacitors here are high voltage electrolytic capacitors that are that are at least 150 volts. And these are various high voltage capacitors here and these are all low voltage electrolytic capacitors and of course I've still got plenty more old TV chassis that I'm going to strip down and get all the usable parts off of them. Uh, once I got this going I discovered that the alignment was slightly off. The FM sensitivity was not that great and the stations were coming in on the wrong dial position so I, I tweaked the alignment screws here. This is the FM oscillator trimmer down here and you want to be real careful when doing that. It's best to do it with a signal generator, but if your signal generator is currently buried somewhere, and if it's not too bad out of alignment, you can do it by ear, but just pay attention to where the screws are originally set, just in case you have to return them back to their original positions. Okay, let's turn this on and do a band scan and see what we've got. I've just got this hooked up to a couple of cheap TV speakers, so it's not going to sound the best. And for an antenna, we're using just the standard clip that's on the AC line for an antenna. That station's about 90 miles away. Don't know where that's from. Pretty much everything from this point on down is either public radio or religious broadcast. Give you one example. What about gay people? Anything and they want us. Catherine is an old friend. That's it. Now let's try the AM. 
band, which is really not the best in the world, but I've found that on these more modern stereo receivers from the 70s and up, they really didn't pay much attention to AM, but that's fine. I don't listen to AM much anyway. In fact, I don't listen to the radio much, period, but I wanted to at least try to get the FM working better. This is the kind of crap that passes for music these days. So all that's left to do is put the cabinet back on it, and I think we'll be ready to go again. Okay, here it is, all back together and ready to go back in the stereo cabinet. Hopefully good for another 35, 36 years. Okay, thanks for watching and more to come later.